Hello again folks and welcome to my latest competition time video. This competition time is for the dual milestone of 5,000 subscribers and my videos having been watched over a million times. Both those figures to me are unbelievable eh? and slightly weird because I do this as a hobby and it absolutely blows my mind that you guys and girls actually enjoy my videos and want to see more of them. Um, I know I'm not up there in terms of viewing stats with Big Clive and Julian and Dave Jones but you know, it's, I think it's amazing that you actually uh, enjoy my channel and I'd just like to take this opportunity, as I always do in uh, my competition time videos, to, to thank you for your continued support. I really, really, really do appreciate it. So, uh, in terms of the prize for this competition time, I did say in my previous video that I uploaded the other night that it was going to be super duper. I hope you do realise this is a budget electronics channel and your definition of super duper may differ somewhat from mine's. However, I wanted to get something that would appeal to the cross section of subscribers, not just um, electronics guys and girls, but the, the Vulcan boys and girls. Um, Avro Vulcan, that is not Nanu Nanu or whatever it is. I know it's live long and prosper. I don't like Star Trek though, sorry. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get something that would uh, appeal to the cross-section of subscribers. So, I got this. It's a little GoPro-style action camera. Um, it's only 720p, so sorry about that. It's not 1080 or 4K, uh, but it'll be still reasonably good quality. Um, 5 megapixel, 120-degree ultra-wide angle lens, and it's waterproof to 30 metres. So as long as you keep it away from the Mariana Trench, it should be okay. Um, it comes with all the... Uh, you know, the waterproof housing, bike brackets, clips, straps, sticky pads, tripod mounts, all that good stuff. And it does have a built-in uh, two-inch LCD so you can actually see what you're filming. So I just thought that might be a little, a nice little prize, uh, let's say, for the cross-section subscriber so nobody's been excluded kind of thing. Uh, you know, use it for on your bike or doing projects, something where you wouldn't want to risk a GoPro if it's the an early or first go at this particular project, you know, ideal for something like that. By all means, if you want to take it apart, do a review on it on uh, your channel, whatever you want. Um, I just thought it'd be quite a nice little thing um, for somebody to, uh, somebody to win and make use of. So how are you going to enter the competition? Um, you're going to do as you always do in the comments down below. And you may have noticed, I've got a cutting mat on my workbench this evening. Of course, all good electronics uh, YouTube channels use the cutting mat, don't they? <laughs> but I have historically always used an ESD mat because in my head, that's a bit more professional and that's what some of the cares of electronics should use. But it did uh, receive some criticism over the, the last couple of years for it being too wrinkled or too blue or whatever. Um, so I thought I'd put this down tonight and get your opinion. Should I do it on a cutting mat or should I keep my wrinkly blue ESD mat? Pop your comments down below and in a week's time on the 12th of Jan, that's Friday the 12th of January, um, I'll pick a winner at random. And yeah, so we'll do that. But before I go, I wanted to mention the website that shouldn't be mentioned and that is Patreon. Um... I registered the Patreon account when I first started doing YouTube and never used it. Sat dormant. Um, it's never been advertised. Um, I just haven't, you know, haven't put it out there because I am, to all intents and purposes, self-funded. Hence, you know, the budget aspect of the, the channel. You know, I am a big believer in enjoying a hobby as low a cost as you can. I could probably go out and spend a bit more than I do on my channel but you know it's I, it's kept at a budget because that's what I want it to be it's, it's a low budget you know um channel you know and and hobby in my opinion that's what how I want it to be however yeah getting back to Patreon I, I it was sat dormant and I got an email from the other day to tell me that a chap called Jonathan Smith had committed some money to me every month to support my channel um, I got another email yesterday saying he'd upped that amount um, and I just wanted to say uh, at this point thank you very much Jonathan Smith that is very much appreciated and you know thank you very much it's it's brilliant it's a little bit extra money that will be put into the channel to get more kits or whatever however um, 
and this is going to start and get into a little bit of a rant, so I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. Um, you know, Patreon is it, it, brilliant, you know, it does what it does. People can support a channel by giving it money. It goes to the, the creator, that's me in this case, in case you didn't know. <laughs> creator, well, I mean, what a term. Um, you know, and, and they get that money and they do whatever they want with that money. A lot of channels, and I'm not going to mention names, but a lot of, you know, oh, if you go onto my Patreon-only channel, you'll see the videos early, or you'll see this, that, or you'll be able to do this earlier, or my patron, or patrons will get this, or my patrons will get that. And it just tant it's tantamount to cyberbegging as far as I'm I'm concerned, and, and I won't do it, okay? I've said it before, I'll say it again, a bit deep and meaningful, but YouTube is a fantastic resource for the world to use. I use it to help me if I'm stuck uh, with something, be it a repair or something like that, I can go on YouTube and somebody's done a video that helps me out, okay? I can do a video, uh, be it on surface mount soldering or building a little Chinese kit that came with no instructions, I can put that video up and it helps somebody out. The amount of comments I got going, oh, I'm so glad I saw your video because my kid didn't have instructions or I had exactly the same problem as you did, but you showed me how to resolve that. That's fantastic. That's what YouTube's all about. I will not, I will not prov uh, create content for patrons, okay? Um, by all means, if you wish to support my channel financially, I'm not going to turn away free money. Extra money coming into the channel means I can do bigger kits, still budget kits, but bigger kits, or I can increase the frequency of the amount of kits I do, um, or potentially buy a, a piece of equipment that I wouldn't normally have the need to, uh, you know, wouldn't ordinarily go out and buy, um, but then that might facilitate buying that piece of equipment, still being a budget piece of equipment, um, that's going to help with a hobby and it's just another facet to the hobby that you might not have considered um, and I didn't think it needed shown to you but you get what I'm trying to say it's, it's quite hard to explain um, you know getting lots of money from Patreon isn't going to you know result in a Tektronix oscilloscope sitting on my bench and you know the best of the gear tools you know I will still be uh, a budget hobbyist using my CPC 10 my soldering iron and you know kits from China, all that stuff, it's, you know, that's this channel, that's how it's going to remain. So I will pop the Patreon links, uh, link I should say, on my videos, don't feel obliged to uh, support the channel, of course you won't, I'm not suggesting you would, but I don't want you to feel obliged to support the channel. If you wish to support the channel, by all means, you know, please do so, um, but don't expect much in return. There are rewards on there. Um, but going back to the deep and meaningful stuff, you know, the human race should be helping people out with knowledge rather than finance, as far as I'm concerned. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, I will teach you something, and you teach me something back. That's how I think it should work. Anyway, let's see, a bit deep and meaningful. Right, rant, I told you I was going to rant, I told you that video was going to rant. Rant over, okay? <laughs> Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Please click one of the two. YouTube like to see that interaction. And the way um, algorithms and all that sort of stuff's working with YouTube just now, any interaction that you give me is brilliant. Plus, uh, you know, positives, negatives, clicking that little bell button, the subscribe button, comment, anything you want, just pop it down below or whatever, and it'll help the channel out. Uh, without even having to give me any money from Patreon. <laughs> Where did I go with that? Yeah, comment down below with you what you want to see on my bench. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Uh, I wish you all, again, a happy new year. Um, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, click on my fat head down here. And until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.